Thank you very much. My name is Simon Mainakairo, all the way from Nyandarwa. I am the Executive Secretary, Nyandarwa North Branch. I'm here to make a very serious statement that we are not happy with the former SG, Sosioni, because he has been making his own statements that sometimes we feel that we feel ashamed. This profession is a very noble profession comprised of very disciplined teachers. But the moment he became the Secretary General, he has abused everybody, and you know. He has even abused our beloved President. He has abused every CS of this government in the Minister of Education. He has abused the two ladies in the TSC up there. And for now, we feel that enough is enough. Yesterday he said that he cannot move from the helm of NAT, but today we are here in thousands to make a very serious statement that he must move. Today we came here at the office, our NAT office was rocked. But thank God because good Samaritans were able to open the office today in the morning. And we are here, we are going to make statements inside our office which was built during the time of Abres Adair and Dogo. And here we are. Today we must have another leader, another SG. And we are not missing some words. We are telling Hezbon Otieno to be ready to sit on that seat because that is the man of the moment. Thank you very much. We, today we are witnessing teachers being paid with two payrolls. Never again. We have never witnessed such. We have witnessed teachers suffering, whatever they are. You, you can imagine 280 teachers interdicted because of his poor leadership. He is a very poor negotiator. He can never negotiate anything. I'm telling you for now, the time he has been there, he has never negotiated anything with the government of the day. Remember, not always support the government of the day. But what we have seen today is somebody who opposes everything, every aspect of the government, including the CBC. We are saying that not right away here as we are talking, we are supporting CBC. Yes, we are. We are supporting the CBC. But if you can see something wrong with the CBC, we can only say this is not right, this is not good, can you rectify this one? But somebody to say that at the CBC is not good, we are not going to agree with him. And I think today he will never sit again as SG he will never. nationally. He will never. Thank you very much. He has a court order to refrain him from two guys, teachers from maybe sacking him. What about him? There is something about court orders. Court order was made by somebody. We don't care about court orders. We are representing teachers here, and this is a very serious statement. Sita on Giasana Julia court orders. But I want to say, we are here and we know that there is a court order, regardless. Yeah. My name is Simon Cairo, Executive Secretary, Nyandaro North. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, 
the person has become a very poor negotiator. Hakuna jambo ambalo tangu aingie kwenye chama walimu wamefaidika kutoka kwake. Kazi yake tulimwajiri tukampatia hii kazi ili aende asugutie masilahi ya walimu. Lakini yeye aliyeenda kujifanaisha yenyewe kuenda kupigania kama kama politician akasahau masilahi yetu sisi kama walimu. Tangu aingie kwenye chama hiki cha walimu tangu tumchague Uh, kuna hakuna kitu mwalimu amepata kwa kwa msahara wake kasi yake ni kupigana na serikali kupigana na policies za serikali kama ni CBC ako hapo haungi mkono at he was not involved he was not consulted as he is the Kenya if we support the CBC in this country we support the policies of the government of the day we are not having any problem with our government he is the problem with the teacher We don't have problem with Socion as a person. We have having problem with the Socion leadership. And that's why you have seen thousands of teachers have come here to say no to his useless leadership. We have said enough is enough as we must go home. Sasa walimu wako hapa kusema kauli moja. Aende nyumbani. Hakuna mahali atakaa tena na mwajiri wetu. Hakuna mahali atakuwa involved tena negotiation yetu unless to part another as secretary general mwingine tumesema enough is enough na lazima aende nyumbani kuna wale wanasema hizi ni vita za kisiasa vita vya kisiasa lakini sikuwezi kwetu kama chama cha walimu sisi ni hatupigi siasa na ni welfare ya walimu we are not politician teachers are not politician we was elected by teachers to god make good effort to make sure teachers were well are were well, were well met please see on a siasa yeye kama anasema ni wanasipigwa na sivyo kupigwa na siasa yeye amejipiga yeye mwenyewe yeye ndiye atajira huyu mwenyewe tumeona tagu waingie hawe hakuweza kufanya kazi na kaimenyi yule alikuwa former apia education officer hakuweza kufanya kazi na matiangi hakuweza kufanya kazi na na hata magoha sasa atafanya kazi na nani wengine Eh hey, tunauliza sisi kama walimu. Tunaenda sama chama cha makupeti. Tumeenda pale ku negotiation table. Sisi kama tu wanati tutaachwa nje tena kwa nini juu ya mtu mmoja. Hatuwezi kuumia tena tumesema enough is enough and have to go home. Full stop. Zeni ukweli walimu kama We are saying walimu hawabaduki kutoka kwa nati. And that is ours. That is ours. Ili waki, ili we, it is already in the constitution. Hatuwezi kutoka kwa NAT sisi kama walimu. Kila kitu tunasema session die sinda aende tuende tu negotiate na wao employer through other officials. Kurudi tutarudi NAT sisi wote. Na chama chetu kiko imara na ajue hivyo. Shukrani mwalimu. Yeah. Barikiwe. Mimi naitwa Makira Makira. Oh, sawa. Yeah. Right. Executive secretary NAT Thika na tuko hapa ili kubainisha kati ya mbichi na mbivu ukweli na urongo propaganda na ukweli propaganda ya kwanza ni kwamba sisi sio walimu sisi ni walimu propaganda ya pili ni kwamba tunafadhiliwa na serikali ili tuondoe socion yeye mwenyewe ako serikalini kwani kuna serikali nyingine kubwa kuliko bunge lenyewe ako bungeni kwa hivyo mfadhili wa kwanza ama anayestahili kufadhiliwa kwanza ni yeye shida zetu na yeye ni nyingi tu shida ya kwanza kama alivyosema mwenzangu ni kwamba kila mwingine yote hakuna mtu hata mmoja ambaye ameweza kufanya kazi na sio sio wale ambao wanafanya nao kazi kazi hapa katika ofisi sio mawaziri sio cabinet secretaries sio teacher service commission kwa hivyo ni mtu kisirani Huyu ni mtu kisirani. Na kazi ya kutetea walimu haiwezi ikafanywa ama ikafanyika na mtu mwenye roho chafu kama yake. Manake katika chama unafaa kuwa mtumishi. Lakini sasa yeye amezoea neno mheshimiwa, neno mkubwa inakuwa ni tatizo kubwa sana yeye kuketi chini na wananchi wadogo. Kwa hivyo nataka kusema tena kwa kinywa kipana siku zake katika ofisi ya NAT hazijaisha ziliisha manake 
ikiwa huelewani na mwajiri wako basi utaelewana na nani mwingine kwa hivyo tunataka jamhuri ya Kenya ielewe huyu mtu amekataliwa na kila mmoja na sio kwamba anakataliwa na kila mmoja kwa sababu nyingine tu ni sababu ya kwamba hawezi akaishi na mtu mwingine yeyote kuna watu ambao ni full time employees wa Kenya National Union of Teachers executive secretaries huu ni mwezi wetu wa pili bila kupata mshahara ilhali yeye mwenyewe juzi tu alikuwa safari ya nje ambayo iligarimu mamilioni ya pesa tunasikia isitoshe bunge linaendelea kumlipa na hapa ningetaka kwanza DCI na vitengo vingine vya serikali kwa sababu both are full time jobs tungetaka kujua ni wapi anazembea ni gani hafanyi ya bunge i know he sits in some committees we want somebody to establish whether he's been attending those sittings number two, we also want to understand jinsi anavyo anavyolipa kodi na mambo mengine kwa sababu hapa kuna mambo hapa kuna ukora ambao unaendelea zile kazi mbili ni full time jobs ambazo anahitajika bungeni siku za bunge siku ambazo tuko na vipaka au vya bunge awe bungeni kila siku na hapa katika nut house anafaa kuwa hapa kila siku kwa hivyo nafikiria yule ni mtu ambaye yule ni mtu mwenye shibe ambaye hamjui mwenye njaa chama tunataka kuregeshea walimu tunataka kukitoa katika mitu, mikono ya wakubwa tukipatie watumishi na kama si leo basi tumechelewa sana yes, 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 yes. kwa hivyo ndugu zangu siku za porojo mikutano ya porojo mikutano ya urongo simu za usiku kutishatishwa yote hayo yote hayo yameisha na ningetaka kuomba radhi manake nimesikia akiingiza wengine ambao labda hata siasa za walimu hawazijui na mtaniruhusu niseme tumesikia kwamba katika ofisi kubwa serikalini tunafadhiliwa mtu asiharibu jina ikiwa anataka kwenda tangatanga aende ikiwa anataka kwenda kieleweke aende akitaka kwenda kanu aende lakini hana budi kutuvuta sisi wote manake na ni watahadharisha wanasiasa sio ni akikwambia ako na walimu anakudanganya hmm. hana mwalimu hata mmoja wenye walimu ni sisi hmm. alisema tusije tumekuja kwa hivyo akisema tuende kwako hatutakuja kwako asanteni sana Shaka. woman rep nyeri in the Kenya Union the Union uh, of Teachers and that is why we are here today yes we were, we are here because uh, we feel that our union is threatened we people the teachers uh, we are elected by the the teachers of this of this uh, uh, country we want to say that uh, without the teachers coming together without the teachers obeying the rule and the leader of the of, of the day that is our president without us not coming together so that we support all the policies that will actually help the teachers and the children of this nation we feel that we cannot continue and we feel that one man who is our our sg has violated all this and has actually said that uh, anything that happens in this he and the teachers opposes we are saying that the teachers are not opposing anything we are saying that the teachers are ready to work with the government they are ready to even bless the cbc because it is for the betterment of our children and the better betterment of all of us in this particular country okay uh, so soon as being uh, there's a there's been a, a row between Sosion, Nat and the teachers and Sosion. what's your take on that the thing is we are not actually fighting anybody what we are doing is that we want to reclaim and redeem the union we know that this union was uh, created long time ago by our forefathers and we feel that teachers need to have the union for them to work and work well. Okay. Uh, those are just propagandas. Okay. Yeah. So they are teachers. Mesimama na sosiona ma. Ah, tu simami na yeye. Ngo. Sababu ametuangusha. Sifa sanat ni kama ameanguza sote na ndio sababu tunataka kumngatua siku ya leo. Kabisa kama gani vile? Sifa sa kukobana na serikali. Ili hali hii serikali ndio imetuajiri. Unajua sasa 
ili tuwe katika jabu moja ni lazima ati yale ambayo serikali inafanya haswa the TSC kama sasa kuna uh, how he was against CBC while CBC is a policy that was introduced by I mean the CBC was introduced by TSC and TSC are our employers so we have to implement it kwa hivyo yeye kutuambia tupinge CBC we are against him unaona unasema ni vita vya kisiasa hamna hamna, hamna. Kile tuko tu ni vile tunataka kumwambia sababu alipatiwa kiti kwenye bunge aende afanye kazi huko. Nasi hapa kama walimu tuwe na kiongozi mwingine ambaye atakalia kiti chetu cha NAT ili awe anatutumikia. Hatuna vita na yeye. Unasemekana uko na court order ya reprint. Kutionda kweli yako nayo ili hali ilikuwa mpango sababu huu mkutano alikuwa alijua huko sababu the NEC are the people who requested for the meeting okay. and he accepted then yesterday that's when he, he gave the court order saying that the office is going to be closed until that until that mm. na huo ulikuwa mpango na ujaja sababu anajua shule itakuwa zimefunguliwa kwa hivyo sisi walimu tutakuwa hapa so hapo haina maji hata kidogo nimeshukuru labda tutamalizo kutumia jina lake mimi naitwa Sabina Karioki women left the cabrant and still women left central region council and she is also women left we are your I don't have difficulties as I have found out in my endeavor to mobilize, organize, and encourage my fellow countrymen when I try to mobilize, organize, and encourage my fellow countrymen. But no man has to take any attention of my work. One minute of our people down here.